first off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who continue to rule well and set the perfect example through the Spirit of the Most High and His Son. And peace and blessings to the hopefully elect out there who toil in this work day in and day out. This is Brother Yagadal Amon uh, from GMS Houston. And uh, I was coming to you today with a second installment of uh, what I've been calling, uh, I'm calling uh, spiritual. Uh, optimism man and uh, today I was just going to uh, get into the vengeance of the Lord uh, 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 which he's going to reward us uh, with the opportunity well not the opportunity but the gift of executing uh, part of his vengeance on this place man he's going to lift up certain men with spiritual powers uh, uh, to take this place down uh, alongside Yahweh Shai and the holy angels man his, uh, his heavenly host uh, with that, man, I'm going to get straight into the scriptures. First scripture I got is uh, Psalm chapter 58. And just real quick, man, I'm thinking about it. Man, hey, brothers is taking L's on this side. We don't have no mic. So we constantly uh, taking, uh, uh, basically prepping ourselves for the time that we're going to be able to uh, pay, uh, get, basically get revenge on this place, man. Which is gonna come through the, uh, the Lord blessing us with the spiritual uh, powers to uh, to take this place down because we can't do it in this flesh right now. Not a, no amount of guns or uh, militant mindsets can take down this place, man. It's gonna have to uh, be done by the will of the Heavenly Father, man. And on the way, a book that states this is the Scriptures, man. So all these other offense doctrines and philosophies and uh, and understand this, man. None of the Quran. The, all that Egyptology shit, none of y'all uh, have a, 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 a solution to how we're going to take this devil down, man. Only the Holy Scriptures have that, man. Alright, this is uh, Psalm 58 and 10. It says, The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, man. You wouldn't hear this in the heart of the house, man. If they brought this out, they, now they wouldn't bring this out, man, because it's too straight and to the point, man. It's too raw, man. It's letting you know the righteous is going to rejoice when he see the, uh, uh, see it, uh, see it the vengeance, man. While the rest of the world is in an uproar and crying when they see the chariots break through the clouds, your highway shot standing on, on, on the floor of the ship, man. When all the chaos is breaking out, man. Here in Babylon and across the four corners of the earth, man, the righteous is going to be rejoicing. Like, finally, this shit's over, man. It's done, man. It's a hot time to rule, man. It's time to have some fun, man. It's time to have fun, man. When I say fun, I'm talking about righteous killing, man. It says, he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, man. So that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judges the earth, man. So that's part of the judgment that's coming on this place is the revenge and, and vengeance uh, coming upon the wicked, man. At the head is a so-called white man and all these other heathens. And also two-thirds of our people, because y'all got to fucking go too, man. That's a major part of the process, man. And the Most High is going to use men, man. He's going to uh, have so-called national disasters. The, uh, his son is coming back with, with man, with... with with 2,000 years uh, worth, worth of meditation uh, uh, on terror, man, to execute on this fucking place, man. And alongside that, he's going to lift up uh, certain men with spiritual powers, man, to take this place down. The ones that have been patient, man, and kept his uh, kept uh, his word, man. This is uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter 25 and start at 13. It said, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, I will also stretch out my hand, uh, mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man from be and beast from it. Then I will make it desolate from T man, and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword, man. So it's, it's going into part of the destruction of Esau, man. Man, it was long awaited, man, and, and well deserved for you devils to go down, man. Verse 14. I will lay my hand. It's letting you know. It started off and said he will stretch out my hand. So we we're gonna see what the Lord's hand is, man. Is he gonna he gonna we gonna see a big hand come reach down out of the sky and, and destroy America and the rest of the earth, man. And the earth is not gonna be destroyed, but remote parts is gonna be uh, destroyed through nuclear fire, and uh, and the rulerships of America is gonna be, uh, of the world are gonna be taken down, man. All the kingdoms, all the nationalities, and sitting in, in power seats are gonna be done away with, man. 
because the Lord, this, the vengeance has taken place is to take all the kings out of out of their seat to set up the one true king, man, which is our, uh, our, our big brother Yahweh Shai, man. It says, I will lay my vengeance upon Edom and by the hand of my people Israel. So it's letting you know he's going to use Israel, man. Even two-thirds is going to catch Rick on, on, on you devils, man. All these damn GMO babies that ain't never done a push-up, sit up in their life, but built like a damn, uh, 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 uh like a, a, a natural-born soldier, man. And I show you the power of the man of uh, Israel, man. Jake eat Cheetos and honey bun sandwiches all goddamn day, and goddamn look like he, uh, he work out from sunup to sundown, man. But even two-thirds, they're gonna be overtaken by Esau at the end, but two-thirds of Jake is gonna get in, uh, in Esau's ass, man. For a certain period of time, but the, the 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 main ones is the elect that's gonna get spiritual powers. It's gonna be the ones that's gonna amaze the eyes of the earth, man. Because all the ones that was looked at and despised, man, on the street corners uh, across the four corners of the earth, man, it, uh, it's gonna be the ones you see uh, uh, performing the most miraculous sights and acts and uh, throughout history, man. All right, it says uh. And I will start from the top of 14 and say, I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. And that's the whole thing about it, man. We're not going to get the glory. The glory is going to go to the Heavenly Father because everybody going to know there's no way that this could have happened except by a high power, which is Yahweh, man. And it said he will do, uh, they will do according to my anger and my fury, man. As mad as we get on this side, it's not mad enough, man, to do what the Lord got us set to do in that time. If we be part of that number, man, it don't amount to the anger of the Heavenly Father and the, the spirit he's going to put in us to execute judgment on this place, man. Because we still in this flesh. We still got a conscience. We still got this weak mindset, uh, uh, mind frame to where we won't be able to just be in a, in a bloodthirsty killing mode, man. You'll bug out after saying so much debt, man. Uh, uh, unless the Lord has uh, uh, put the spirit on you to uh, deal with it, man. Because our little fickle minds can't handle it, man. That's why we got to wait on the Lord, man. We can't do shit without him, man. You wouldn't have known anything about this truth without the Heavenly Father, man. Choosing you to do his will, man. That's why we're supposed to be, uh, uh, keep a lowliness of mind and, and, and meekness, man. Because the Most High don't need us, man. Uh, another precept, man, just to show you that the Most High is going to use Jake to, uh, to execute judgment, man. And this is a great reward, man, to be patient for, man. This is something to look forward to, man. This is something to suffer for, man. On this side, we got to take L's, man. We can't run around beating people up, fighting all the time, thinking, man, getting in, uh, cussing out people uh, in uh, every day in society. You're going to end up locked up, jobless. So this is part of the reward, man. We got to be patient right now, man. We don't have no might here, man. We ain't control the shit. But uh, this is Jeremiah chapter uh, 51 and 20. It says, Thou art art my battle axe and weapons of war because the most high is a man of war man so he's going to use us as weapons of war man and he's going to equip us with spiritual powers to do so man it says with thee i will break in pieces the nations and with thee i will destroy kingdoms man because that's what's coming man the destruction of all the kings of the earth man the lord says he's coming back to take the crowns of the earth man so I ain't gonna be no uh, remnant of uh, heathens that's gonna bow down and accept the uh, uh, the Lord, and we gonna let them stay in power. No, nah, man, Moab's not coming up next, man. Russia's not gonna reign for a certain period of time. That's fucking shit's asinine, man. The Lord is sending His Son back to fi to finalize uh, these scriptures, man, and fulfill the prophecy, man. And part of that is the men of the Lord, man, getting that reward to, man, finally, man, we've been getting our ass kicked for a long time, man. And I'm ready to execute vengeance, man. We do it humbly, man, because we understand at times where we are, man, but the true men of the Lord, man, is, is ready for payback, man. Righteous payback, man. This damn devil committed all type of heinous acts and murder. Man, it, it's time for judgment, man. Righteous judgment, man.
Cause we read about this and uh, on the street corners and lessons, and people look at us like we're crazy. How could you? Well, we're reading it right out the Bible, man. So you telling me the Lord just made this up? Or they say, oh, that's talking spiritually. That's, that's a spiritual warfare. We're in the spiritual warfare right now. But well, it's going to uh, manifest into the physical real soon, man. The stage has already been set, man. This is uh, another precept. This is uh, Micah chapter 5. And uh, story at 8. It's saying, the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among among the beasts of the forest as a young lion among the flocks of sheep who if he go through both tread it down and tear it in pieces and none can deliver thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries and all thy enemies shall be cut off man this is a future prophecy man this haven't been done man and it shows you man because jake is stuck in that mind frame and we ain't got no damn enemies man you got IUIC saying you can't speak against the so-called white man. ISUPK, they running around like a militant group, but they not ready to do shit, man. Y'all setting yourself up for failure, showcasing all your guns and your military uh, structure, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a, you getting set up, man. You, you identifying yourself as a military group, man. We supposed to be spiritual men until the Lord uh, 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 raise us up, man. Right now, all we're supposed to do is continue to bring out these scriptures and break all the strongholds, man. <coughs> so like you. And the only way that's going to happen, man, is the Lord giving us uh, spiritual powers, man. Because we can't do shit in this body, man. Shit, this right now, I couldn't, as much as I wanted to hold that goddamn cough back, I couldn't stop that motherfucker, man. We can't do shit, man. You can't stop yourself from getting the charlie horse while you're getting boxing. God damn it. But Jake think they're going to do something on their own, man. We just got to come together. Y'all niggas been coming together forever and still ain't done shit, man. They ain't going to do shit, man. But get your ass destroyed along with these heathens because you trust in this fucking system, man, and you bow down to this beast. And right now, man, this is going to uh, we'll bring out this precept to show you how the Lord is going to equip us, man. This is uh, Philippians chapter 3 and uh, 20. It says, for our conversation is in heaven, man. Our actions, man, the way we uh, conduct ourselves, man. We looking forward, we look into the heavens, man. We not focus on, on, on what we see here on earth, man. On this, this fake, false reality that we living in, this matrix, man. We looking up to the heavens, man, waiting on the Lord to return, man. It says, from whence also we look for our, uh, our Savior, the Lord Yahweh shall my Siach. Verse 21. Who shall change our vile bodies. Because that's what we're in. This is a vile body, man. You sit down and don't do nothing physically for about a month. And go get out there and try to work out, man. You got down to be. Can't even get out the bed the next morning, man. Body sores. You don't know what, man. Feeling like you've been beat with a sock full of nickels for 12 hours, man says that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body because the lord is in his glory right now man he came lowly on, on the ass the first time man and he and he took the ultimate ill for us man beat beyond recognition man heckled man scoffed at man spit at stabbed man tormented man starved deprived dehydrated man So who the fuck are we to cry about what they, the little bullshit hell we catch here, man? Because your woman won't give you no box. You shouldn't be worrying about that bitch all the time, man. You should be worrying about these scriptures, man. Worrying about prophecy, man. Mad because you ain't getting uh, the certain job you want, man. Man, we slaves over here, man. Be thankful, man, for every day the Lord wake you up in the right mind frame and under the right doctrine, the one true doctrine, man. And continue to keep pushing, man. Be thankful for this brotherhood, man. Be thankful for the gifts that the Most High gave us right now, man. This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which is the kingdom, man. And and you do that, man. You you be one of the ones to see the kingdom in the physical first, man. Be the ones that, that partake in this right here, man. Being changed out of these vile bodies, man. Into a glorious body like our big brother Yahweh, man. 
right? It says, according to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself, man. Oh, man, I'm, I'm sick of being in this flesh, man. I'm sick of uh, fucking having runny noses every time the weather change, man. I'm sick of uh, fucking having pains, aches, and shit, man. Brothers suffer from all different type of ailments and shit, man. The Most High is gonna rid us of that, man. When this time come, and we be patient, man. I don't, I don't want to be put to death and have to wake up in shame, man. I wanna, uh, I wanna, uh, 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 be one of the first ones, man, to execute judgment and drag these heathens into chains, man. So lock it. Cause that's one of the most, one of the, man, one of the, the first stages, man. Because before we see the kingdom, man, this has got to go, man. War time got to happen, man. The Most High is going to have the ultimate war to end all wars, man, real soon, man. Real quick. Okay, this is what I was looking for. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and I'm going to start at uh, 50. It says, Now this, I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, neither corruption inherit incorruption, man. So this this body is not gonna make it into the kingdom, man. You have simple people get on the common boards talking about, oh, you you got tattoos. That's against the law. Yeah, we had this shit done before we came into the truth, man. This body is not gonna make it on the chariot, man. But first, uh, fifty one, it says, "Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall uh, be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump." For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall uh, be raised incorruptible, and shall be changed, man. In the twinkling of an eye, man. When is that going to happen, man? In the midst of the nuclear uh, 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 war, man. When those missiles are raining down, the elect is going to get beamed up, man. And in the twinkling of an eye, going to be uh, changed, man. And we get to sit back and, 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 and rejoice, cry. And celebrate the downfall of Babylon with Yahweh Shai, man, and the heavenly host, man. Hey, it's gonna be some crying, laughing, smiling, man, like never before, man. When we finally get out of this shit, man. Hey, cause the true men believe in it. See, it's that time, man. It's time to get the fuck out of Babylon, man. It's time to get out of this shit. Right now, I man, I gotta lean it over just doing this lesson. My goddamn back aching and shit, man. How you gonna go to war with a with a damn bad back, man? Got damn tendonitis in your knee, all type of crazy shit we suffer in these bodies, man. The Lord is gonna reward us with the ability to execute perfect vengeance and, and righteous killings on the earth, man. Uh, I'm gonna read one more verse. Uh, this is First Corinthians 15 and 30, 53. It says, "For this corruptible must put on incorruption." In corruption, and this mortal must put on immortality, man. So once we change into those glorious bodies, like our big brother Yahweh shot, man, we gonna uh, inherit immortality, man. Won't be no more death. Israel won't see death once we're changed, man. But like I said, I don't want to die in uh, uh, as a, as a two third in Babylon, man. I want to be a uh, 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 make it the first go around, man. So your brothers, man, once again, just just, just keep enduring, man, and, and praying to the Heavenly Father, man, to have mercy upon us and continue to abide in, in, in the proper understanding of the scriptures, man, and the one true doctrine, man, and the Lord is going to reward us, man. So, hey, through, through these scriptures, man, keep that optimism, man, keep that faith. With that, once again, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone, peace and blessings to the elect, Shalom.